up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 toyota sienna courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so today we are in this one because the sienna does come standard as a hybrid configuration which means excellent mpgs in a vehicle of this size not only that all-wheel drive is available for the sienna which is a rarity with minivans can't say that for the honda odyssey for example and there are a couple small changes for the 2024 model year as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2024 sienna first one being the le starting at $37,685 xle for $42,995 xse for $45,245 woodland edition all-wheel drive starting at $48,625 limited for $49,945 and the platinum for $53,145 so all of that pricing with the exception of the woodland front wheel drive comes standard Standard. However, you can add all-wheel drive to any of those other trims. If you wanted to do that, simply add $2,000 then to any of those prices. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on this Sienna is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder with two electric motors, putting out a combined 245 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 176 pound-feet of torque coming in at 4,400 RPM. That power being set to front wheels or all wheels through a CVT, zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.7 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 36 in the city 36 on the highway for the front wheel drive that's brilliant 35 city 36 on the highway for the all-wheel drive so really not really even a difference there for the all-wheel drive you gotta love that but so then before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here or anything like that in the sienna i do want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a little toggle switch located just behind the shifter drive modes are going to include ev normal eco and sport adjusting things like the throttle response the steering sensitivity and then the ev mode that's going to allow you to drive short distances at least on pure battery power basically so gotta love that so now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 sienna here up to speed all right we are in sport driving mode go instant acceleration you gotta love that hybrid system that's actually not bad though <laughs> yeah that's actually plenty of an acceleration i heard something moving around in the back cargo area there because that was actually a decent acceleration. You're not gonna have any issues in merging onto the highway. And again, at the very beginning there, because of the dual electric motors, it was instantaneous. There wasn't any delay like you quite often find with turbocharged four cylinders. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. So when it comes to the acceleration in Sienna, it will definitely get the job done. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 12.9 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 12.5 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at 131 feet. As far as the braking feel goes, since there's nobody behind us, it's a little bit on the softer side of things. Definitely not a firm braking feel, but it's pretty normal for the class. It's pretty normal for a minivan, 131 feet. That's what you would expect from a vehicle like this. So it's to be expected. I'll just put it that way. Then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to find an independent McPherson strut front suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension. But with the XSE, believe it or not, you get a sport tuned suspension. Why you would need a sport tuned suspension in a minivan? I don't know. But it's there for you if you wanted the XSC trim level. But anyways, as far as ride quality goes in our short little test drive here today, it's actually been perfectly fine. It's been absorbing the road imperfections. Not that there really are any right now, but it has been absorbing them perfectly fine. So I wouldn't have any issues taking this thing on a long road trip or anything like that. As far as cabin noise goes, we're going 55 miles per hour right now. So I'll let you guys be the judge of that. We'll say there's a little bit of wind noise, but road noise is pretty much kept at bay. So I definitely like that. As far as uh, steering feel goes, it is a little bit of a difference depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. You do get a heavier weight to the steering in that sport driving mode, which I kind of like. And then when you take it out of that, it loosens up. So I do like that that's available. It's kind of something for everyone there. But having said that, 
Do you really need a heavy steering feel in this Sienna? No, you don't. No, you don't. Then touching on rear visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. You really shouldn't have any issues there. The headrests are kind of beefy. That's why I kind of hesitated there, but it'll get the job done. I'll just put it that way. And if you were to go with that platinum trim level, you will get rain sensing windshield wipers. But in addition to that, you're also going to get a head of display projecting your speed, speed limit, and safety features up onto your windshield. Better help assisting with forward visibility so you can better focus more of your attention on actually enjoying the drive. So, that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's not go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Toyota Sienna. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Toyota Sienna finished in wind chill pearl. In case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN. First character is the number five, indicating that the new Sienna is built and assembled in the U.S. So... Anyways, now go ahead and touch on, on that front grille. There really is no front grille surrounding the Toyota emblem. Thought that was kind of interesting. Usually there is, but there is down below. But there is a black front grille for the LE, XLE, and the woodland trims. But then a metallic black front grille for the XSE. And then a dark gray metallic front grille for the Limited and the Platinum. So there is going to be a little variation depending upon the trim level that you go with there. But to the sides, LED headlights do come standard on every single trim level across the board. Gotta love that. They do come with LED daytime running lights. Get the automatic feature as well, of course. You actually get signature by LED projector headlights for the Platinum trim level if you wanted the very brightest illumination at night. There are some wide angle LED fog lights for the XLE trim level and up. You guys can see those in the bottom two corners there as well but probably the main change for the 2024 sienna on the exterior at least is going to be the dark housings on the headlights so before if you guys remember the le and the xle got the chrome housing surrounding the headlights but now every single trim level is going to get those dark housings which i personally like better because they go a lot better with the black accents on the front grille and surrounding the toyota logo so good job changing that one up toyota that pretty much rounds out the front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so now since we are around to the side of this one all the way up top you will find some roof rails you get the crossbars specifically with the woodland or they are optional of course with the other trim levels like we have today but anyways rear privacy glass does come standard on every single trim level across the board of course chrome window surrounds also coming standard or at least chrome upper window trim i should say there used to be some hybrid bounding found in the front doors i wanted to say that because there is no longer any hybrid bounding found in the front doors so you guys can see there taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors for all trim levels they will be heated with blind spot warning indicators you gotta love that and then the limited and platinum trim levels are going to add to that puddle lights of power folding side mirrors the reverse gear tilt down feature and memory settings then as well so side mirrors really get souped up with those two trim levels but anyways then taking a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch alloys for the le and xle trims that's what you guys are looking at 18 inch alloys for the woodland and the limited 20 inch dark alloys for the xse and then 20 inch metallic alloys for the platinum but so that pretty much rounds out the side profile of this one let's not go ahead and make our way to the back Right, so now let's see around to the back of the Sienna. All the way to the top, you will find a matte black shark fin antenna. Just below that rear spoiler, you do get a high mount stop lamp just below that rear spoiler as well, of course. Rear window wiper does come standard. LED tail lights, though, every single trim level across the board is going to get that. You got to love that. Do you have the Sienna badging spelled out horizontally, finished in a matte black as well. That looks pretty good. And just below it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet kind of tucked away underneath on the passenger side there. So having said that, I know it's a minivan i know it's a hybrid so it's probably just going to be the startup but we're going to give it a shot anyways as always here is that exhaust clip Right, so now since we are around to the back of the Sienna, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, you will find a power tailgate for the XLE trim level and up. So I'm able to show that to you guys today. That's pretty cool. There's actually a button on the key fob and uh, of course you can lift up on the rear handle there as well. Hands-free power tailgate is going to be optional for the XLE trim level and up then. But once opened up, cargo capacity behind that third row comes in at 33.5 cubic feet. That's insane. Usually what you get behind the third row is anywhere from 17 to 20 cubic feet. That's things like the, the Palisade and the Telluride and things like that. So that is a ton of space behind that third row. If you were to fold that third row down, that bumps that up to 75.2 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, 
101 cubic feet. That is that is pretty impressive. It's actually slightly more than the Toyota Grand Highlander, so that is a good bit of space. But anyways, there's also some cargo lighting back there, of course, as well. And it's actually a pretty deep cargo area, like it goes down a good bit, so ton of space back there. And I was able to find a 120 volt power outlet. So if you wanted to plug in a toaster or a hair dryer or a drill or whatever the case, that's available for you back there as well. And even in our XLE trim level, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, then making our way up to the third row legroom, this is equally impressive. 38.7 inches that's a ton of space for a third row legroom for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there so definitely an adult friendly third row if you needed it it's definitely impressive cup holders back there of course you actually have a couple usb charging ports as well so i love that so the kids can stay charged up back there and if you wanted third row window sunshades, go with the limited or platinum trim levels. That's how you're going to get that. But then make our way up to the second row legroom that comes in at 39.9 inches. Once again, still an even six feet tall, ton of space for me back there. Eight passenger seating is going to come standard on the LE and XLE trims. However, seven passenger seating is going to come standard on all the other trim levels. That seven passenger seating is optional on the XLE. And that's, of course, an option that we do have with us here today. So that's pretty cool. I like that setup. But six USB charging ports for all trim levels across the board, if you were to count them up. Second row window sunshades for all trim levels, even the bottom trim level, coming standard. And I love that. If you're going to put second row window sunshades in any vehicle it's going to be a minivan because you guys know if you have kids you constantly are going to fast food and you're sitting in a parking lot afterwards and eating it maybe and the sun is in one of your kids eyes so i'm definitely a big fan of that and in case you were curious yes there is rear ventilation for all three rows found kind of on the ceiling of the sienna if you want to call it anything so that is definitely good so all three rows can stay comfortable but then make your way up to the front seats eight-way power adjustable driver seat does come standard for all trim levels cloth seating for the le but then a soft text upholstery for the xle and woodland trims XLE is also going to add to that heated front seats and a four-way power adjustable passenger seat then as well. Limited and platinum trim are going to add heated and ventilated front seats, leather seating and memory settings then. So overall in my short little test drive here today, seats are nothing crazy, but they're perfectly fine. You're not going to have any issues taking this thing on a long road trip as far as seat comfort goes at least. So then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is power adjustable for the platinum trim level. It is going to be leather wrapped for the XLE trim level and up and then heated for the platinum trim level only but now making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key all of your buttons are located on one side of the key got lock unlock the button to pop the rear tailgate there and the hold buttons for the uh the middle two buttons there that's to open your side doors of course which is pretty darn convenient i like that you can't do that in an suv so that's pretty cool but it is all keyless entry with a bright blue push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, there's two different gauge clusters, again, dependent upon the trim level that you go with. You're going to find an analog gauge cluster with a 4.2 inch digital screen for the LE, XLE, Woodland and XSC trims, but then a seven inch digital display for the limited and platinum trim levels. But that, of course, is not the, what we have today. So taking a look at the left, you got your battery life indicator. Taking a look to the right, you got your speedometer and fuel information. And then front and center is the digital screen, which you can can control using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel and really it gives you everything that you need it gives you your time of day outside temperature the drive mid that you're in how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's a compass up there radio information the list goes on so absolutely everything you need up there but then making our way to overall interior quality, a power moonroof is going to come standard on the XLE trim level and up. Got this cool school bus mirror that does come standard as well. So you can spy on the rear passengers. It's kind of small, but still it's there nonetheless. Tri-zone climate control does come standard. So the rear passengers can set their own temperatures there. That's pretty cool. Four zone climate control though, coming on the XLE trim level and up. You gotta love that. Wireless phone charger for the limited and platinum. Auto dimming rear view mirror with homely controls for the XLE trim Trim level and up so yes we have it with us here today so if somebody puts on their high beams behind you it's auto dimming it's not going to bother you and it is homely controls for up to three different garage doors so i always love that feature 
as well. So overall, when it comes to interior quality, I was actually kind of impressed. A lot of soft touch material, including the two places that the driver puts their elbow when they're just cruising. There's a lot of cool texturized finishes like surrounding the shifter and the cup holders here. They could have left that like a matte gray or black plastic, but they didn't. There's also this wireless phone charger just in front of the cup holders, which I was putting my phone on. So that was pretty nice as well. A little bit of storage just above the passenger side glove box, but that cool texturized finish is carried on to the doors as well, surrounding the power window buttons. I like that too. And there's actually a ton of hidden storage found underneath of the shifter here. And I mean a ton. Obviously, you could put like a bag or a purse down there if you wanted to. And there's a 12 volt power outlet. So absolute ton of space and interior quality is definitely done very nicely. Kind of surprised me. I didn't expect it to... Uh, to be this nice. I guess I'll just put it that way. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. Nine inch color touchscreen display is gonna come standard across the board. Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system is going to come standard on the limited and platinum trim levels can of course check out your radio information up there as well so when it comes to the sound systems you will find six speakers for the le eight speakers for the xle and xse trims and then a 12 speaker jbl sound system for the woodland limited and platinum trim levels so now have we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> perfectly fine actually plenty of clarity the the base was more than i expected i felt like there was definitely a subwoofer somewhere so for the for a minivan i'll just put it that way it's perfectly fine nothing crazy though but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the sienna in reverse you will find a rear view camera it does take up the entire screen it's not that high definition though it's not that high quality but it'll get the job done and then a bird's eye view monitor is going to come on the platinum letting you know what is completely all around you which is always is going to lead us and to safety and so starting with the best part iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs and that's what you want in a vehicle like the sienna but front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag as well front passenger seat cushion airbag to go along with that in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks of course tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection lane departure alert with steering assist lane tracing assist automatic high beams i love that one dynamic radar cruise control road sign assist a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and then if you were to go with the xle trim level and up that's going to add to that front and rear parking assist with automatic braking you gotta love that so ultimately when it comes to my final thoughts here of the sienna very nice exterior styling believe it or not for a minivan it kind of surprised me because what i like about it is kind of the curves in the back portion on the side it kind of reminds me of lexus so of course lexus being the luxury brand of toyota so i do like the styling for that reason amazing mpgs for a minivan as well when you can get 36 miles per gallon in a vehicle with as much space as the sienna with all-wheel drive and regular unleaded fuel it doesn't get any better than that that is a solid pick right there and speaking of tons of space it is a usable third row that's a rarity as well you got excellent safety and iihs top safety pick plus you can't beat that a very good reputation for reliability as well just check out consumer reports for that and really toyota as a brand in general is known for insane reliability as far as room for improvement goes honestly i think you could probably add some ambient lighting some multicolor ambient lighting i think uh especially if you got kids in the back that's kind of a feature that not only adults might like but the kids might like as well being able to uh, kind of tell the adults what color to change it to and things like that so i think they would personally like that but really other than that this thing is pretty darn solid and definitely one that i would even consider for my family if i were to buy a minivan this may very well be the one that i would actually pick but anyways that about rounds out this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.